Hey everybody, it's Gordon Overkill looking forward to new adventures. At first uh, I was reminded by a kind viewer, which was again Mr. Stingray1, thank you, that I forgot something quite important on the Dwarven Graveyard, so I'm afraid we have to leave uh, the place where we are and run back to the Dwarven Graveyard once. So that's what we are going to do right now. That was really a stupid mistake as you will see. Okay, we've got to kill some frogs on the way. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, ordinary quartz. That's okay. Train our crossbow skills. Got some more training ammunition. Nice. Nice. Continue back to the Dwarven Graveyard. Here we are. <laughs> well, as you can see, if here is our stack of uh, <laughs> dropped items that we left outside. From this stack we are at first only going to take the pickaxe. Use this pickaxe, put off the seven league boots and a run through the level once again. This was a teleport trap? No pit trap. We have to reach the teleport trap, use it teleport to this space we stumble upon a grave the tombstone bears some dwarvish runes okay and here we equip our pickaxe and use it uh, in order to dig a right down wait at first we should maybe kill those under that followed us yeah and now we use it to dig right down. You start a dig, you dig a hole. Among the remains of Griff Blood Axe you discover a strange broadsword. We're going to take this sword with us. Because that's uh, another artifact. And I know that it's not that good that we might use it for fighting, but uh, at least all the, those artifacts are very good to sell. So, teleport out pick up the whole rest of our stuff that we put here so very nice and now we are going to do the, the next level uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah So, yeah, that's what we do. A horde of lizardmen, we use them to train too. Those uh, overland encounters are always very good for training your missile weapon skills because uh, there are many different enemies attacking from different directions and they just come straight to you. Constructly nice. I use those uh, unknown chorus texts in order to identify them. Adamantium corals. What else do we have? Um, those here. Well, maybe later. But good to know that we've got even more. Uh, Construct slaying ammunition because we will soon need it. White dogs die. Jelly slaying. Oh, that was the wrong button. Any more quarrels? No, but we've got some more. 
arrows that we might identify. Mithril arrows. Demon slaying, very nice. Uh -huh. Ordinary arrows. We've got some nice pieces of uh, slaying ammunition. So, let's rush back to Dark Forge. Yeah. So, also here, we are at first going to drop some stuff that we don't want to carry with us. But wait. We will definitely change our armor and wear this blue dragon scale there that we found. So, let's drop the rest of the stuff that we don't really need at the moment. Do we want to drop There's these? The climbing set. That should be it for the moment. And the money. So. We're back to burden status. That's very good. That okay, and here we've got one of the enemies which we are going to face in uh, this episode. It's a steel golem. This mighty construct has been crafted from bright uh, burnished steel. Each piece of it is masterfully crafted. Each motion is mechanical and precise. The joints turning smoothly and silently. A bright furnace head, uh, heat radiates from its eyes. And these steel golems are really tough and we're going to fight quite a couple of them in this episode. And therefore, we will at first equip our crossbow and our construct slaying ammunition okay. because steel golems are constructs so we are going to use those exactly hit him but do not manage to damage it what wait I do not want to risk the the boots. So I change to the adamantium boots. And now slightly damage him though we exactly hit him. Why the, that's not so good. Wait. Maybe it's because the heavy crossbow is rusty. Uh oh yeah, that halves the damage we do, that's not good. We should maybe try to kill this single guy. Right, well, how do we do it? Hmm, that's really not good that our rusty our crossbows are rusty. Have we got uh, construct slaying arrows, maybe? No, we don't. What do we do against this guy? And who's that? A dawn beast. Oh, close the door. <laughs> Zombies can be very dangerous. So we should maybe try to flee for the moment. We need to repair our our crossbow before we uh, can seriously fight this guy. So we need seven league boots. Let's hope they will not get destroyed. Close the door. Open this door. Close that door. Pick up everything. <laughs> oh. 
Good that we realized it early. We definitely need a, a repaired crossbow. We have a crossbow. Well, it's a crossbow. Of, oh, it's an amazing crossbow. Wow. And it's uh, not even cursed. Wow. Really wow. With this crossbow we can easily do it. So, change the boots again. Drop all the stuff again. Well, because he's already coming and we want to uh, not be straight exclamation mark. Dragon uh, height. Cloak, cloak, cloak. Girdle. Drop the seven league boots. I will not risk them in this place. Uh, B, E, F. Okay. Uh, no, maybe it's not those. Um, <laughs> M M B D M I and G. So dropped everything again and now Come on, steel golem. That's how I want it to be. That's how I like it. And he's dead. Wonderful. That's why uh, a working crossbow is very important on this level. So for the rest of the level we might as well take our 7 league boots with us. If we need them for an emergency. I do want to know what do we do against this dawn beast. I know they have a, a very nasty paralyzing attack. So we do definitely not want to uh, attack them in melee. What wants do we have? Our want of fireballs can do the job. So, open the door. Where's the Dawn Beast? Here. Come on, Dawn Beast. It is in the infight and we use our want of fireballs in order to kill it. Huge fireball erupts from this wand. Use it another time. Bam! And the Dawn Beast is bad. Very good. Uh, if you don't know that, you can easily die from such a Dawn Beast. Oh, that's a very good armor. Maybe we could bring it to the stack that we will later bring out of the of the level. An item blocking the door. Construct slaying. Oh. So. Equip our 70 boots and uh, empty the level. What's that? Here, a distant wind. So, somewhere on this level, we will find a uh, vortex. Then, we will change to our short bow and a big stack of ammunition in order to kill it. Big stack of ammunition. Do we have a big stack? Um, <laughs> it doesn't. Really looks so, but I guess the best thing we could use is maybe those mithril arrow, uh, quarrel. No, it's arrows. Okay, good. Keep it that way, so we can hopefully kill the vortex from a distance when we find him. Iron Russian. Let's see what kind of a vortex we find. Who's that? Dwarven Chaos Knight. They have got a uh, thick armor, but uh, we should beat them, yeah. There can already be some very dangerous monsters at this level. With her girdle. Going to be sold. Fun cursing. Metal cap. No, that's no good metal cap. But maybe it's better than the one. Who is that? Red baby dragon. Put off the seven league boots. And kill him. Go. 
critically wounded and dead. Put on the seventy boots. Good by the way. Oh our pickaxe is cursed. That's good to know. <laughs> it was the vortex message again? Yeah. Here it is, it's a lightning vortex. And actually uh, it isn't even able to harm us because we are lightning immune with our armor. Still we will protect our equipment. So let's see what we can do from a distance. Hit him and slightly damage him. Out of ammunition. Why? We need a little more space in order to equip new arrows. Let's take this stack of arrows. No, there's quarrels. Mm -hmm. So, easy. Nice. That's a nice opportunity to uh, repeat that I love those seven league boots. Oh, sorry. This guy was neutral. ordinary mimic. There are some other kinds of mimics who can be very very deadly. I just recently uh, lost a very promising character to a master mimic. So did anybody take some more stuff? I don't think so. But maybe we will drop some more. That, that. And was there anything else? Oh yeah I want to drop the uh, the damaged crossbow, the rusty one, where is it? Here. So, well, now we're going to descend to the second level of, door at, uh, of Dark Forge. And here you can already see that there are shitloads of these steel golems waiting for us. And I forgot to equip the right ammunition. So, where do we have it? Construct Slayers here. Shoot the first one. Bam! And uh, directly escan to, uh, to the next level. So we can kill him. And the others are not able to, uh, to help him. That's how we're going to do it with those here. Moderately, critically, and destroyed. That's nice. I'm so glad with that we found this uh, this amazing crossbow. Get this away. Who was that? Oh, just a rock thrower. Some sling bullets, but we also have got a stone giant who doesn't care about us. Well, but we care about him. Die. He wants to flee. Do we let him flee? No, we don't, because uh, stone giant corpses are very nice to have. So we want to kill him. And that's what we do. But he doesn't leave a corpse anyway. I also do that because we are already at neutral plus and I do not want to change our alignment towards lawful. So uh, some uh, deeds of chaos might be not too bad at the moment. So, construct slayers.
moderately damaged and destroyed. Those constructs laying ammunition do, uh, uh, does great damage to the golems. It's the next one. Crossbows to level 6, very nice. That's the side effect. We train our crossbow skill. And we advance to level 17. Great. Let's see what we do. We work on our alertness, which we want at 100 soon. We get another one point roll, which totally sucks. Uh, athletics, and what else? And. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe one more on dodge. It's also good. Oh, we do really have bad luck with those increase rolls. But no matter. Alertness increases by plus 5 to 100. Did I complain? I did not complain. <laughs> Sorry, random number generator. You're a nice guy. And never forget, uh, the uh, only really bad thing that can happen to an Adam character is dying, and as long as he's still alive, it could be worse. So. Actually, those uh, golems give you uh, a really big amount of uh, experience, so uh, it's absolutely possible that we will maybe make another level while we're down here. So. We have uh, killed the starting golems in the first corridor. So let's see, was it here where it continued? Yeah. Let's see how we'll do it against the remaining ones. Here we have a special room in which you can see there's a couple of pools. And those pools might be interesting later, but you see they are hard to reach. Have you got a wand of cold? Mm. No, so maybe we will have to swim. <laughs> anyway. And those pools might become interesting later. So, at first we've got some more of those steel golems to kill. Come on, guys. I stand behind the corner, so uh, only this one steel golem can attack me with his uh, fire attack, while the others have no direct line of sight, so they cannot fire to support him. Quarrels back. Already a couple of them destroyed. Well, anyway. Redemption. Destroy him. But that works really well. We already got crossbows at level 6. Maybe we will reach level 7 while down here. Here's the next one. So destroyed. Here we've got the next one. Okay, we had another stack of construct slayers. There's a single one which we might use, and it works. Did we have um, even more? I hope so. No, we don't. Hmm. I thought it was more. Maybe they were destroyed during the fire breath attack. Anyway, there are not so many of them we have to deal with. If we can kill two more, that would be enough for us. Still, that went really far. 
losing those constructs layers. Five arrow, uh, quarters remaining. So here we've got a corridor in which we will find lots of traps. The spear barely misses us. That was a spear trap. You discover a teleportation trap. Okay. You discover a water trap and there is the next golem. Come on guy. Bam. Critically missed and he is destroyed. Very nice. Uh, let's see if we can find... Okay. The bundle of two cores of constructs laying on the ground is consumed by the heat. Fuck! That was not good. Mm. We are blinded by the lightning trap. So now we have got only two cores of constructs laying left and we have to kill at least one more golem. That was bad luck. Well, but uh, this is where we came for. You see, this whole room is full of armors. And let's see what armors we can find here. The scale mail. Light first, okay, that's nothing. A black dragon scale mail, that one's really nice. We already have our uh, blue dragon scale mail, but the black one is, uh, is really good too. It uh, gives us uh, acid resistance, which is maybe already more uh, valuable than, uh, than shock resistance. So, we move on this teleportation trap, which brings us to our next aim, well, to this door. If you're wondering who this guy is, this is uh, Kerab, the dwar Dwarven Artificer. And this is uh, quite a nice guy. This uh, malevolent dwarf mutters to himself constantly as he hammers away at chunks of steel, planning to shape them into creations of evil. You can almost see the purple aura of chaos glowing around this stunned, twisted form. He turns to you and chuckles about something, something you probably, t probably don't want to know. Well, this guy is not hostile towards us, but he's actually uh, an evil guy. But he's uh, much too strong for us to fight at the moment, so we'll leave him alive. Maybe we'll uh, fight him later. Discover a pit in the ground and another one. Here comes the golem. Let's hope that we can kill him with our remaining arrows. First one hits. Construct slaying. Here's the second one. Bam. Uh, yeah, it worked. Wonderful. <laughs> and our rest, uh, construct slayers got destroyed. So we literally killed him with the last construct slaying piece of ammunition we had. Stone block hits our head. Well, mit by now we have enough uh, health points so that the stone block is not so bad anymore. And here we've got a whole room full of weapons. And I really hope that there will maybe be a good weapon among it that we might use from now on. Because our adamantium scimitar is a very nice weapon, the blessed one. But uh, it's not the one we want to use till the end of the game. And with some luck we can find some amazing stuff here. At least something good to sell. Yeah, this halberd is nice, but we don't use halberds because they are two-handed. Mithra spear. Broken quarter stuff weighing 20. I don't know what a 20 stone quarter stuff is, so we'll take it. Long sword, but not too good either. Halberd. Two-handed sword. Gonna be sold. So far it's just selling stuff, I think. Hand X, hand X, heavy clutch. Well, hmm. Don't think that was too brilliant. Maybe we could just identify the whole lot. Maybe there is some penetrating weapon on it. So, read our scroll of identify and see what we've got here. Mm -hmm. The Black Dragon Scale Mail has 11 protection. That's good, we're going to wear it. 
Let's take a look at our amulets. We've got two amulets of rapid healing. That's nice. Remember, we re we lost the one we had before, but uh, this is a nice deck again. A third one. Whoa. <laughs> um, amulets of order. Greed. What do we have here? Um, Adamantium Warhammer. Barb Mithra Flail. That's good damage, but we're not trained with flails. Mithra Spear. Heavy clutch. Uh, a sword of sharpness. Wow. Wow. That's really nice. That's the weapon we are going to use for the important fights from now on. Uh, what else do we have? Something. Oh, it was the stuff of the May, May guy. I wanted to know about those 20 stones, broken quarter stuff. Where is it? It was this quicksilver stuff, yeah. At least good to sell. Well, let's uh, just drop those items that are not so good, those weapons. Like the hand axe, uh, ordinary spear. Water stuff. Mm, happy Skull Club. Well, that's it. Gonna be dropped. And now there is uh, even a lot more experience to get and monsters to kill on the left side of the of the level. But we're not going to do this right now because we just ran out of uh, construct slaying ammunition. So we mu had to kill those uh, iron golems that we found, steel golems we found there in fight, and we do not want that. So, so if we can avoid the traps on the way back out. Yeah, we can. Very nice. The question is, what do we do next? Um, Do we want to wait? Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We do not yet want to drink from the pools because we uh, have to uh, do something else before. We cannot go to the Tomb of the High Kings, because uh, we miss an important item for this task. Um, of course we have to take all this stuff with us. cannot carry it all at once so we must <laughs> maybe drop some of it and uh, get it up another time so need to drop more yeah <laughs> damn what is so heavy the flail is quite heavy ordinary 200 sword is very heavy so that's okay is there anything else on this on the ground that we definitely want to take? Yeah, there is. <laughs> Not the Boas guy. Book we can take it, and we definitely gonna take our money. So we've got to drop drop even more. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe drop the crusty crossbow. Don't need it at the moment. Is that enough? No, it's not. 
because oh, we're also carrying so much money it's more than 200 stones of money and the, the spell book is not so important still not enough drop the blah what do we want to drop actually we want to sell all this stuff broadsword and we have no girdle of carrying, have we? <laughs> no, we have us. Uh, ordinary metal cap. Mm -hmm. Maybe this cloak. So now our next aim will definitely be the shop. Brown bear, we do not want to fight it for we burn so heavily. So, uh, I think that's enough for this episode. We uh, managed to uh, clear the, the weapon chambers and armor chambers of uh, Darkforge. We found some nice stuff, short of a uh, sword of sharpness and a black dragon scale mail. Um, we killed all the golems that we want to kill at the moment, made some experience. That was very nice. Um, so, uh, let's uh, call this a day, stop this episode, and in the next episode we will definitely sell all the loot we found, and then I am not 100% sure where to continue. We cannot go to certain places, maybe... I'm not sure, I will, I will think about it and I will tell you tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode, guys, and I hope to see you again for the future adventures. We're doing very well. I'm positive that Godizel will uh, manage to uh, get very far into the uh, into the uh, Adam plot, and uh, let's hope it continues like this. Bye, guys and girls. See you.